Hello everybody, today I have this 2013 Renault Cascadia with a DB15 engine. I'm going to be replacing the fan clutch. The reason why I'm going to replace the fan clutch is because this noise, you can hear it, it's coming from the fan clutch. So the fan clutch is this one right here, this is the fan clutch, and this is the fan clutch hub. We are going to replace the fan clutch, but before replacing the fan clutch, inspect the holes that go through the fan clutch. The first thing I'm going to do is to drain the coolant. While the coolant is being drained, I'm going to remove the coolant tank. I'm going to start by removing the coolant level sensor plug. I'm going to disconnect it from here. I'm going to remove that hose over there and this hose over here then connect to the coolant tank. And I'm going to remove these bolts. These are 11 16 bolts. There are four of them. There's two on top and two on the side. And I'm going to pull this hose and remove this ball over here with a 3A socket and I'm going to be removing this hose too the one that connects from the tank to the oil module and with the coolant tank out of the way I'm going to remove that hose the one is over there remove the clamp from there and the clamp from the other side to remove the hose completely with the hose out of the way I'm going to remove this fan cover by removing these 3A bolts there is two on this side and two on the other side so all the fan cover bolts are completely removed now I can remove it completely from the radiator okay now we have full access to the fan the next step is to remove these six nuts over here that hold the fan on place using an I-16 socket with all the six nuts out of the way have them right I'm going to move the fan around like this to make its way out once the fan is out I can easily pull it up like this just make its way out if for some reason you are not able to remove the fan easily from the radiator you will need to remove these bars, the uh, bars from the radiator, and loose these bolts over here to move the radiator around so you can make room for the fan to come out. Okay, so this is the fan clutch. The next step I need to do is to check for the bolts inside the fan clutch. You can see it right there, you see it is over there. We need to align it to the center over here because the fan clutch is seized, it doesn't move because the air pressure is not enough to release the pressure. We need to release these eight millimeter bolts from the back. Don't remove them, just loose them enough to release the pressure of the fan clutch. Okay, all the bolts are released, as you can see, now the plate is out. Now I can easily turn the fan clutch, as you can see. Now I'm going to align the bolts with the fan clutch. Now you can see it's right there. So all we need to do now is to grab a 8 millimeter Allen socket and insert it in here. And now we want to remove the eight, the six bolts then hold the fan clutch in place. With the bolts out of the way, we can easily remove the fan clutch, just moving it around like this. And the fan clutch is out. Now we can see the damage. You see this little part over here? You see it's all round because the fan clutch was rotating over it and damaged it that's one one of the reasons why the fan clutch was leaking air also over here this is the fan clutch the rear area then face to that the o-ring is completely gone as you can see so in this case we can just buy a service kit 
to place the o-ring and this little thing over here to repair the problem uh, I would always recommend to replace the fan clutch anyway but if for some reason uh, you find this you can only place this and it will fix your problem I have the new fan clutch right here it is the part number so this is the OEM fan clutch there are many different types one of the most popular type is the heat master fan clutch this is a very popular fan clutch so the new fan clutch comes with this label the new nuts and washers and these bolts and the hub so here we have the new fan clutch it comes with a new o-ring you can see this is the o-ring that is missing on the other fan clutch I always compare it to the old one to see if there is any difference between them and now from this uh, kit over here I'm going to remove this plastic and I wanna place it in here when I see it in here you see it has the same shape as this one it's not hard to put it it's just to put it in it is going to look like this as you can see so now I'm going to take the fan clutch to the hub I wanna align it with this I wanna align but before I'm going to clean the surface very well you can see there is some uh, pieces of the old fan clutch now to place it is just as I said before align the orifice very well and then insert it like this once it's in you can see it's completely touching the hub we're going to align the orifices with the thread on the hub once all the bolts are in we're going to tie the end and then we're going to turn the end to the specifications provided by the fan clutch as you can see here here we have clutch to hub 50 foot pounds the new fan clutch is on place it's tight and secure double check all the time this is a very important piece of the engine so now I'm going to start the fan carefully not try not to damage the radiator one is in we're gonna align it with the orifice and push it in like this so now we can see the studs on the other side and I'm going to install the new nuts and washers that comes on the kit. All the nuts are in place and the washers. Now I'm gonna tie all of them and I'm gonna tore them to the specification provided by the manual. We have here fan to close 26 foot pounds. With the fan on place, I'm going to place the fan cover on top of it. Okay, the cover is on place. You can see now it's time to install the coolant tank and all the hoses we remove with everything back on place it's time to add the coolant to the system okay the coolant system is filled with coolant so now it's time to start the engine okay now we can see a fan now it is attached Okay, there is no more a leak as you can hear there is no longer a leak and the fan is completely free which is good okay so this is all i'm going to show you about the fan clutch replacement on a freiliner cascadia the fan clutch replacement will be similar to all engines coming inside a sex detroit dd15 dd13 and dd16 and detroit cd 60s it will be similar to all the difference is how to remove the components but the process to remove the fan clutch will be similar 
for some reason you want to remove the hub, you are just one step away to remove the hub after removing the fan clutch. So if you have any questions about this video, please comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can. If you like the video and you would like to send me some support, you can check my video description below for details where to send a support to my channel so I can make more videos to help all owner operators, drivers, mechanics and other people that watch my videos. So thank you for spending your time watching my videos.